All right, this one's gonna be on ZSH Global Alias Expansion. Uh, I talked about Global Alias a long time ago, so if you missed that video, I'll post you in the description. But uh, Global Alias is a reminder here. Let's say, for example, uh, well, let's bust out our uh, ZSHRC here. This is how you write in a Global Alias, something like this, right? Usually people use capitalized letters for it. Um, and you know, for example, if you want to do like capital G for grep, here tail head and stuff like that um, you can do that and this is what it looks like in the shell when you're doing this here let's say for example we do cat we do our um, fast file and then let's say for example I want to use grep here right so normally you use like a capital G and then uh, you know you grab out for let's say ISO or something then I'll find uh, whatever it is I uh, you know uh, had for ISO or whatever uh, it's in there when he's grepping it. Um, now this one, uh, what we're gonna do is actually expand the G because right now, you know, we understand what it is, right? But if you want to expand it, you can do, let's say for example, the same thing. And now this time when I hit G, uh, and I hit space here, it will actually expand the code. So you expand it to grep, and you do ISO, and then so on and so forth. So that's what we're gonna do is uh, global alias expansion so whenever I type in like G and I hit space or something that would do grep same thing if I do uh, any of these other um, global alias here so let's say for example we'll see here and this is for word count M is for most L for less uh, so on and so forth you know if you want to do the other ones uh, for that so how do you set this up pretty simple uh, what is this code up here this one's not the original. I edited a little bit. Uh, the original had like a space here, and that would prevent you from uh, having your uh, global alias to work uh, or the global expansion to work uh, if it's the first uh, word or the first letter. So I deleted that. They had it as a control space to bypass the completion, but I'm already using that hotkey, so I used it. Uh, was that shift tab to bypass the completion and basically to bypass the completion or use the completion is if you want to use the com uh, was that the uh, expansion or the completion you know you hit uh, whatever your global alias is like let's say capital G and then you hit space and it'll expand it right so space is to expand the global alias uh, shift tab here is to bypass it so let's say if I did the same thing G and I hit the uh, shift tab, it does not expand it, right? But if I hit G and it hit space, it will actually expand it. So on and so forth, you know, and, and uh, expand, so on and so forth, right? You get the idea. So that's pretty much it for the expansion. Uh, it's kind of like a, what is that, a text expander, but this one's for your shell. Uh, anything you can do in here, you can expand real quick, you know, real simple, right? You get the idea. And that's for Z Shell. Um, test that out if you wanted to play around with that. Uh, Post this in the description. Everything you need to do to set it up. Not that hard. Just paste this code into your ZSHRC and you're good to go, really. And that'd be it for this one.